veteran vlogger here from the Riverview Historic District in Kankakee, Illinois. I decided to get out even though things are closed and have a look, see, explore my community and take you guys along. I have a good buddy with me. Say hi. Hi. We're going to walk around. I'm going to show you a really special house we come upon. It's a Frank Lloyd Wright house, which is really cool because where we come from, where I come from in Arizona, where I've been, Frank Lloyd Wright is like one of the most popular architects around for the state. Everywhere you see Frank Lloyd Wright, Frank Lloyd Wright. And I happen to come up on a house that I think is stunning right next to the river. And you're going to get to see it. It's called the B. Harley Bradley House. And it's a Frank Lloyd Wright home. Well, here we go. Let's take a look. Look at that house. That is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And there's the B. Bradley, B. Harley Bradley home. We'll take a walk down through here. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the window work on that home. And over here, it sets on a river. This home was built between 1900 and 1901. And uh, by Frank Lloyd Wright. But look at the beveled edges on the windows. And the workmanship. Oh, look how pretty green. Look at that, Brent. Wow. Beautiful. So we're just taking a little walk through. It's closed right now. But we can see what we can see. Looks like a gift shop and a fireplace. There's a picture of Frank Lloyd Wright in there. Look at this. I don't know if we can get you guys up close enough to be able to see actually in there. But we'll see once the video is done. I'll tell you what, if if I could own this home, I would. <laughs> Who wouldn't? And a walk over here, look at the view. Isn't that beautiful? River view. We'll take you down closer down by the water. Look, all the bay windows that go all the way around the house. Man, I'm going to walk around and we'll see the other side. I think it's a lot better. Let's explore. Hey guys, we walked through this walkway here. You come around, I had to turn you back on to show you this. Look at this. Can you imagine of owning this home at one time? Look at that. Just stunning absolutely stunning and I don't know why we couldn't just walk right down through this little gate here ain't nobody here to see us so <laughs> let's see oh another garden look at this absolutely stunning can you imagine coming out for your breakfast and sitting right there Look at this house. Just stunning. We'll walk back over there too. Give you a little see. Apparently this is the side of the yard. Ooh, look at that one. It's just beautiful greenery all through here. Stunning. Looks like the drive, driveway, garage. On down through here. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. You know, I'll tell you what. I haven't been out in a while because of this, you know, situation going on in the world. But, uh, man, I should get out more. You don't need to have a mask on and be by, you know, where you got a social distance from everywhere, everyone. When you come to places like this, there's, there's no social distancing needed. Is that right? Nope. <laughs> oh, we just recently learned that these flowers are called surprise lilies. 
all these up there. They each popped up all along our house. They only last for a little bit and then they go away. <laughs> like only a week, two weeks and they go away. But man, look at this. Oh. You know, even being out here just gives you the feeling of like a refresh, a revive. Back, back. Oh, look at those. Those purple ones. I walk down there. Look at those. Those are pretty. Wow. Absolutely stunning. This is a nice property. Very, very nice property. And it apparently is taken care of by a Frank Lloyd Bright fund that's provided here in Kankakee, Illinois. Who would have known that a house by Frank Lloyd Wright would be designed and finished right here in the little town of Kankakee, Illinois, which back in the 1900s was a very small town. Walking out on the dock here, got a wobble wobble. <laughs> Whoa, don't want to shake it too much. Whoa, this is a river. This is Kankakee River. And it's not that I'm afraid, because I'm not, I just don't want to end up in that water. It uh, looks, yeah, I don't know. It looks something. I'm going to do some fishing today. Uh, we found out that if you don't have an Arizona, or I mean, if you don't have an Illinois driver's license, and you're an Arizona resident, then you need to have an out-of-state fishing license. But for veterans like myself that have a DOD ID, and other veterans that have DOD IDs, you don't even need to do that. You just come out here with your military ID. You can fish if a game warden asks you anything. They, you just show them your military ID and you're good. So, anyway, one last look here. Like I said, guys, I'm just getting back into this. So, bear with me a little. I think this is a beautiful spot for a second video. I think what America has to offer... Most of the time, are small little hidden gyms like this, you know, that we don't think about. All you got to do is drive around. Drive around your community. Look around. See what you can see. You never know what you might come up on. Look at this. We've been, I've been here literally since May 15th, and I had no idea something this beautiful was here. But I guarantee you I'd come back here again. Why? For nothing else than serenity. To help calm those fears, other vets out there. The, the, those moments that you have depression, and sadness, and you feel like you're all alone. Come out here. Come out to a community area. Look around. Enjoy the world. Because what's out here is mindfulness. What's important is today. Today. And that's just wonderful. Anyway, I love you guys. I wanted to show you guys this again. Something new. So I made this quick little video. I hope you liked it. I'm going to try to get better with each one. Oh, and by the way, I want to thank Dutch Creek Cabin, uh, his channel. He, uh, come on, made some really positive comments for me. I want to see you make a fairy house there, Dutch Creek. You said you liked one, you want to make one. Let's see if you make, how yours turns out. Anyway, just want to tell you guys again, thank you. Remember, like, share, subscribe. It helps me out. And you know what? Thank a vet, because you know what? Vets definitely thank you. Love you guys. Take care.